Hi. Oh, maybe I do have to have fun. Yes, you do. <laughs> this is a cooperative experience. So I will agree, I don't know why it needs to do that every time. Like, you think it could just detect that there's a player 2 connected. Bam, use that. I mean, hey, never wish to play it safe. But uh, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. Today, we are going to go into our inner Ranger Schmidt... Ranger Smith, Ranger Smith, and uh, check and see if the force is uh, following t standard protocol. Hello, there. Ranger Schmitty, Werben Yangerman, Jetson. I am Ranger Schmidt, here to <laughs> deliver with great wit. No, Ranger Schmidt. We I, I thought Ranger Schmidt we conferred was the drunk was the drunken ranger up the Alps in uh, Pac Man world. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, as we f carry on forward. Uh, this isn't a forest. Well, we'll get to the forest eventually. I guess this this whole area is supposed to be reminiscent of those treehouse stages from Donkey Kong One. Oh, the for the forest levels in general. Uh, this is pretty much the this this uh, game's equivalent to Vine Valley. Uh, almost got it. Whee! There you go. Okay, I'll, I'll admit right, that's time a, that, this out carefully. Then I'll admit I I like what this is doing. This is like a nice transition to explain how we got out of the caves. That is yeah. something I, that is pretty interesting about uh, returns is that for the good, for the most part, whenever you go to a new world, you can sort of tell that there's a transitional period between like when you start the uh, world off and then once you actually get to the proper like the the world's gimmicks proper. So here we are, trees and a lot of carnivorous plants. Yeah, a lot of not piranha plants. The mushroom kingdom's got nothing on these nippers. Nope, they will just hang on tight and, uh, there's nothing down there, Diddy. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I think we passed the minigame area. Did we? Whoa! Whoa! Oh. You both died okay. simultaneously. Either that or <laughs> Diddy died of grief. No, I didn't. Like, it, it's... Uh, I think it spawned me on top of the thing that ate him. Possibly. <laughs> anyway, let's try that again. From okay. the top. As if is we're doing this for the very first time. Hello. Welcome. To the definitive let's play. Oh no. Just charge on ahead and yeah, where could that automat where could that secret entrance be? Uh it might yeah. be a little it might be a little further in. You can, oh, so Possibly. you can't kill these. Because I know that thing I was pounding down definitely was an exit My guess is that there's like a cannon or something you're looking for that would send you below that thing. That's my assumption. Oh wait, I see it. Oh. Oh. It's in here. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it deposits you out before. All right. And hop to it. All right. Okay. I'm starting to notice that uh, although some of the earlier ones were a little bit uh, unique, that here we're starting to see... Not uh, not that's a bad thing, but we're now starting Oops. to... Really? <laughs> For the record, I didn't press the button there. Yeah, we're now starting to see um, them you know, recycling the version. It's, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's, de it's still yeah. better than... It is still better than how the, um... Uh, still better than how a Tropical Freeze usually will, you know, fall back on the same. I think only it's like five designs, period. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. You've got this, Diddy. Oh, yeah, I was gonna... I'm trying to get the extra life for you. Nah. Oh. Or not. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Just, oh, goodbye, Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, you best be careful, Diddy. I don't know if you guys have reached a checkpoint yet. No, but we reached this. Thank you. Okay. He does it. So, do we ever, uh, in the lore for this whole story, do we ever learn what the Tiki's were and why? Like, nope. All we know is that they came from a volcano. Yeah, they're they are they are volcano gods, and uh, they do of all things they do explain why they're stealing all the bananas though. Unlike King K. Rule, who kind of just did it just for the sake of it. I I, I thought he did to starve us out. Oh, careful! Now we got these Hello. guys. They'll start eating the vine, but don't stay on the vine, otherwise they'll eat you. Oh, but I was like, yeah, I thought I thought the whole uh, story in the manual was that Kibru wanted to starve us out. Yeah, that, that that's the story that they usually go. Wow, you, you you saved him all the trouble there. I... He was like, oh jeez, what do we even need? What do we even need the vine trap for? I mean, there there is the matter that yes, they they were likely stealing them to starve them out, and well, I mean, in recent memory, I think they made it clear that apparently the Kremlings actually do like the bananas about as much as the Kongs do. I also Which like is weird because Karul stated at least twice in the games that he actually doesn't like bananas. I also like nice only in the Payon games, last I recall. I also love the idea of Captain when he was Captain K. Rule showing up on showing up on our shores. Walking out like, all right, steal all the golden riches you can find, and they come back like, 
Sir, this is all we found. Just bananas like, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. And he just took all the bananas instead. Oh boy. He was not a picky captain. He just wanted to take whatever they considered their riches. There it is. I mean, it's, as I also remember, like, with the GBA version, they actually made it a little more pronounced that he, he kidnapped DK and literally, you know, bargained him, bargained, bargained him in exchange for the entire banana horde again. Oh, nice. So he, re it's, it's pretty clear that there's more. He really loves those bananas more than more for the, just the sake of just starving the Kongs out. If he was gonna do it, if he was gonna do it for the sake of a hostage situation, yeah, it makes sense. But yep. Yeah. Well, hostage the force situation. Happened. Well, that's what it sounds like. That he kidnapped, call, he kidnapped DK and ransomed him for the banana hoard. Okay, for a minute I thought you were talking about like holding the bananas at hostage. Because now I just have this mental image of Karul holding a singular banana, pointing a gun at it, and just being like, "Don't take another step, DK." And DK's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa okay, okay, let's talk this out. Let's talk this out." Dude, I don't. I, not, not even. You don't even need the fucking gun. Just literally have him just pitching on the very tippy top of the peel and just. Be all threatening to peel. You better not. You wouldn't. I warn you. Shh. Oh no. And, I, and meanwhile, Cranky's just there with his little dentures gun, and Tiki's like, "Take the shot." Take the shot. <laughs> also, hey, the tooth bears are back. Oh yeah, hang on. Jeez. Also, this is—I think that's a new type of oh, plant. Oh yeah, because I was to say, I'm pretty sure you can get on the top of that somehow. Oops. Well, we'll find out after these messages. Well, it's not that far a trek, so... I didn't say there were long messages. This part has been brought to you in part by DK's Banana Horde. It's... Wait, my banana sold out? <laughs> oh, I see what we gotta do. Uh-oh. This critter over here. Oh, I see. I don't think that's uh, gonna work. On second can't... thought, don't leave that critter Yeah, over. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna behave out well. What? Yeah, I don't think that I don't think there's a way up there. I don't think there's anything important up there, so let's just not even worry about okay. it. Okay. In any case, uh, yeah, uh, that that plant that I was looking at—that's a new one. We now have uh, slippery snakes and oh. shooty plants. Yeah, the forest is full of full of many dangers. Careful! Oh, oh special many dangers indeed. More than you can shake a DK at. Uh, DK, you're a little too heavy for me. Oh, so now Diddy's the one holding DK and shaking him around. Uh, it all Just comes full circle. Really? Oh. oh! Careful. Easy does it. You know, I'll never get over the freaking, uh... Whatever, like screeching noises that the top, that the tooth fairies make whenever they're just all out and about. Like they really just want a piece of that there donkey butt. Yeah, I know. I wish you had a hover too. What one? Make it a comedic one, like where DK flaps his arms, thinking he has the jetpack. Nice. <laughs> I mean, with arms like that, oh, you, hey, you know, nice. who can blame him? Oh. oh, I was here the whole time. Okay, nice. Kill the shooty plant. Destroyed more of the damn bats that are still everywhere. Oh, hold oh, on. I see that down here. Oh, jeez, I almost thought you both made a mistake. Oh, I know what I got to hear. Damn it! I'm sure it was... Oh, hang on. Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, wait, I, oh, wait, I see you. Oh, Diddy. Diddy, go back. let's improvise. Yeah, hang on. You'll hold it down, and then you go for the kill. The yeah. kill. The kill. There you go. Puzzle piece one. I murdered the puzzle. You, 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 you sure did. Oh, yo oh boy. <laughs> nice. Take, take, take them names. There you are, Dang Professor Dang he does. I mean, he's the one with the actual guns. We never know who made them. Because I don't think Funk... Because they, they don't acknowledge Funkies here to have made them. Oh, nice. Well. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, see, I, see, I see what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go come at it from this angle. Actually, I don't think so. Because the man you... Okay, I'll do it again. But nope. See, that's why. Okay, wait, but it swings back. That's what I do. You just wait. Way. Go back up. Go back up. I, and well, then... let me get this first. Oh, that may actually require the both of you to hover. Yeah. Well, hang on. All right. I guess I'll follow your lead. All right. Now watch out for these spiky dudes. They're gonna come swinging. Come to think of it, I think it's just leading. Oh, oh, that's right. I didn't even notice the barrel there. Three. So what do we do? You wait. You sit there and you wait. Oh, you're a little bit too okay. late on that one. Or a little too early, a little too early. Well, I guess I'll solve this by myself. Hopefully. Yeah, look at this. Oh, the 
of the needers are to <laughs> all the needers to myself. It all is mine, the fabled banana treasure. Almost, Scott, we've had to come blow enough. There you go. Goodbye, ah! Diddy. <laughs> Devil damn. <laughs> it was just a puzzle, but you got the goods that mattered. Oh, nuts. Okay, okay, all right, all right. let's keep carrying. You forward. need to calm down, mister. <sighs> he does it. Oh, okay, I almost thought the thing went, went, went left without you. And. Oh, you risky. <laughs> nice. Oh, there it is. Just some nice standard galaxy kind of platforming. Now. No trouble at all. Which actually, was this the same engine that uh, that made Galaxy, or am I thinking of a different no, team? No, 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 this it, is a completely different team, remember, this is still retro. Oh no, I, I was thinking of Jungle Beat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, no, I, I think this is built off the same engine that made Metroid Prime. Okay, but, uh, but so, that, that's a very versatile engine. Oh, oh hold down there. That's right, I was thinking of Jungle Beat. Ooh, a little bit early on that dismount, but can did he stick the landing? Oh. Just barely. Just barely. You see, this is why Diddy should be in the Olympic Games. Wasn't he? Well, technically he, w he was in a few games. Well, I mean, like, full-on playable. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'll never understand why they never bothered to full they properly expand the roster past the second game. Like, I, it's yeah. always been the same same lot, lot same since... Same 12. Yeah. I kept having... I think it was 12. I kept having an idea, but I don't know if it, if it holds any water. Oh, I see. You gotta land on that mushroom. Well, let's yep. hear it. Well, so it was this idea of like. Oh, hold on. Go ahead and get. Oh, okay. You got. Goodbye, DK. Goodbye, DK. It, 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 was, it, it was this concept of like. Oh, jeez. Oh. Man, that way to be nice game. But it was a. Uh, it was this concept of like, what if, what was happening was. Oh. Yeah. Almost like a Let Ken Pender. What, what if? What if it was almost like a Ken Pender situation where like. Oh, Nintendo. only DK Whoa. can be used by Nintendo. Not all the other Kongs get in. Uh, well, I'm not sure if that's the case, because if that is the case, we wouldn't be seeing D that often. Well, we never see Kitty or Lanky or Chunky or any of them. Well, we do see Lanky in, like, the Payon games. Well, yeah. that's just it, though. Well, after after those all came and went, you you never see him again unless it's something Smash-related. Should I, should I ask, because you said it... Oh. Darn, he was above it. Because you've said it twice now, and I feel like I feel dumb for not knowing. What do you mean by pay-on? Uh, the people that make games like King of Swing. Oh. And uh, Jungle Climber, Barrel Blast. They even made the Klonoa remake. Oh, I thought you guys were just saying, like, peon incorrectly. Like, oh, those, <laughs> those, those, those simpleton peons in the wonderful games. I mean, some some people some people in the community could argue that, considering they were, not for nothing. Like, pay on themselves weren't a bad video game company, but you could sort of tell they were sort of like a cleanup crew sort of situation. I get you. Or, or not even, not so much a cleanup crew, but a fill in group. Right, right. Like is like Namco too lazy to do the job themselves? Hire a th hire hire pay on. Are, 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 is DK still going through an identity crisis? Hire pay on. They were our number one third option of developers. Exactly. They were the best janitor a guy could ask for. Though I will give them credit where it's due. I do still think that Jungle Climber, at the very least, is definitely oh, one of the stronger oh, oh, oh. games. And as you're seeing here, Wait, they're definitely going to... Yeah, you have to think. Don't worry. Yeah, as you're seeing here, they're now... Welcome to levels. They're going to start throwing oh. a lot more at you. Well, that was just also, me being a little too hesitant. Also, I love how they're playing the music of the e of the Ewok Village. Yet we're not in the Ewok Village. Not yet. I feel like there is a level like that, though. <laughs> Easy does it. You know, because I... Yeah, you saw it, too. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh. Whee! Didi, I told you you should have stayed on my back! I thought I could make it! Don't worry, kids. D Diddy's alright. He just went up to a jungle farm upstate. We're Grandpa. What? No, he's not there. What the? Where did that come from? Oh, where did it's that from one come? Gravity Falls again. It's, again, oh, the whole right. thing with Seuss's grandma. It's like, I want you to meet a nice girl before I go up to heaven to be with the angels. And Grandpa. No, he's <laughs> not down there. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that certainly that certainly took a, took a turn. It, it's the writing was great. I wonder what that guy. I wonder what he's been up to. Um, I'm pretty sure he's still working on stuff. Like, I know his wife is the one that made Owl House. And, yeah, and so much, and, uh, he is, he, it's, he is still sticking around as the voice of, um... King. 
Yeah, and a hootie. And hootie. Hoot! I mean, Ouch! And I, and I know, and I know, I've seen him around the place. I think he's in. Adventure, ah. I think he's in Adventure Time, which means he may be in that spinoff they're making. I don't recall him being in Adventure Time. I know Justin Roiland was there, so I feel like Alex Hirsch was in there. Let me look him up. I mean, has he done anything for Cartoon Network? I mean, or any like that? I figured he was primarily a Disney person. Let me see. Yeah, let for me the see. most part. Let me see. Okay, he was in Rick and Morty. Okay. Uh, does Flapjack count? Uh, Flapjack's Cartoon Network. Yeah, yeah, that counts. yeah, because he was a uh, yeah, because he was a writer for Flapjack. He's probably one of the better writers then. Uh, oh, I'd imagine so, considering that that show was only really remembered for its gross out factor. Let's see. Yeah. He was in Mitchell's vs. the Machines because he's one of the writers as well. Right. I know he's. I know he's. I know he had an uncredited help in Spider Verse. He's in We Bear Bears. Oh, it's so weird. Like, I hear nothing but amazing things about that show, but the show itself never really, you know, attracted me that I mean, much. that's fine. It's, it's okay for it to not just... It's okay for a show to be good, but just not part of your, like, you know, your, you know, your I mean, scale or something. I mean, yeah. the thing is that I want to... Yeah, you're going to have to do a roll. There you go. Oh, boy. Whew. I was about to say, I want to say that, but that's also my feelings on our house in general, and I feel like I'm probably going to be skewered if I say that in public. Do you... I mean, what, is it, what do you think it is about it that just doesn't gravitate towards you? I don't know. It's like, I like the art style, and I think the voice acting for the most part is pretty good. It's just, I feel like a lot of the characters don't really, like, aside from King and, um, Ida. Uh, oh, I, I think oh, that's oh, yeah, Ida, yeah. Yeah. Aside from those two, none of the other characters really wow me that much. It could just be that it's just not for you. They your... seem a little too, uh, been there, done well, that. I suppose. There, there I mean, are it's so some... weird because it's so weird because Luz basically fills in that quota that a lot of Disney shows have of having like that kooky main character, and I usually like characters like that. Like for example, like a Wander, I think is a lot of fun. And from what I've seen of it so far, I'm really liking Molly McGee. So I don't know what it is about Luz that isn't getting me quite as enamored. Most I can think of is that I mean, again, it's just not for your demographic, like not for your, like, you're just not in the intended audience group for the children's show. I mean, could you say, I mean, you could honestly argue the same thing for all those other examples he pointed out. Right, but I'm saying, but, but, more, but more so here where it's like, it's not, more so here in the sense of, like, it's not a, it's not a bad show. Like, he's not, like, if it, if it was like, oh, Teen Titans Go, or oh, this, or oh, um, you know, uh, I know there's other, like, mediocre shows I could pull off, but I can't remember them because they're so mediocre. That point, point withstanding, it, I think for a show like this, like he can acknowledge that it's good. He acknowledges like it's strong suits. I just don't think it, it feels. It feels less like he's disgusted and repulsed by it, and less that it just doesn't click with him. Hence, why I think there, it's a totally fair statement to say that I don't think he's. I just don't think he was who the show was made for, and that there were other shows that were kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those cases where sometimes it's kind of just an accidental success. Hmm. So, about those Kong letters. So, about don't our you walk away so, when I'm so don't about you walk our, away when I'm talking to you, young man. So, about our TV show revival. You know what? Not for, I'm not gonna lie. I would unironically love if they did what they did with that Kirby 3DS video and have, like, a reunion with all the surviving Donkey Kong cartoon actors. How many are left? Yes. Well, let me see. Oh, I know. I want to say Richard Yearwood is still around. I know. I know Sterling Jarvis is uh, his singing voice. Mm -hmm. I want to say Andrew Stan is still around. Uh, uh, ben Campbell, I know, is around because uh, Jordan showed us that video of that one that CGI film from not that long ago. Right. Right. Let me see. Um, uh, it's going to be hard for some actors because I know, uh, unfortunately, Cranky's actor is no longer with us. Um, yeah. Let me see. I want to say Funky and Candy are still around. Like, the Candy actress I know did work for Disney for a while. Really? Who, who was Bluster again? Uh, uh, Bluster was the, uh, the snooty character made for the show. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like who, who played him? Oh, I couldn't begin to tell you. Okay, because I, I know he would probably be someone they would want to have back because of his, like, the fact that how surreal it was having that be their big original character, Kong. Well, yeah, like, and they also did have, like, their own original Kremlings as well. Like, for example, uh, Kaya, yeah, yeah, oh, hey, <laughs> You panicked. Yes, exactly. Hey, 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 my favorite character. Monkey see, monkey do. Da -da -da. But you're an ape. But you're the, no, that's why, that's right, that's why you're the monkey. 
DK's the great D DK's I almost call him DK's the great, the great ape. white ape. DK's the great ape <laughs> around here. Yep. Dude, if DK was great ape right now, he would not be fit. He would not be able to fit on the screen. Actually, hang on. I'm, Although yeah, take over for me, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Although we would not be against that being an actual plot point in a future game or something like as for a grand finale of DK getting a super mushroom. I mean. Say if again, if there ever was that fucking Donkey Kong Shadow of the Colossus sort of combination, I so wholeheartedly want to see from Platinum or whatever. I mean, I'd be down for that. Of course. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm still looking forward to that one. I don't think it's the studio that I I, I don't believe it's the same studio that made uh, uh that made uh Pathless the game we looked at. But uh, there is still that one game that Annapurna is publishing that I'm looking forward to, where it's like. Shadow the Colossus open world exploration. That still looks fun to me. Oh, I honestly forgot even what that even was. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. All right. Dun, 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 Just you know, I don't know. I feel like we've come to a point now where there has to be a game out there somewhere that's kind of like Shadow the Colossus, but you literally have the agility of a guy of a, a freaking. I mean, Diki on his best days, I guess. Right. I mean, so I'm trying literally, to literally, cl literally climbing those hairs with the greatest of ease. Well, the first, well, the first makes crushing rock seem such a breeze. <laughs> well, the main game I can think of, in terms of Shadow the Colossus style games, the ones that I can think of, uh, there's this one game where you're fighting against gods in a snowy like wind, what, like it's almost like a Nordic kind of thing. I know there was that game on Steam. Uh. Well. Uh, hold on a second. Are you talking about um, that one Titan Souls game that Matt showed us a long time ago? No, 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 no. That that was still pretty fine. Uh, pray, oh, pray for the gods. P R A E Y for the gods. Ah, uh, okay. That one. Oh yeah. By the way, I love I love this to uh, to f p go to uh, pave the way forward. We gotta whisper sweet nothings into this guy's ear. Oh, stop. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's Pray for the Gods. It was an early access, but apparently, I, th I think it's fully been released now. But, yeah, it was a... Oh, no, these old tikis can't quite stand up to, 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 to snuff anymore. Anyway, um, yeah, that was... <laughs> they're, the, they're the rejects. Aw. Yeah, that was one game, and then that was it. Okay, the other one is called Solar Ash, and it's by the developers that gave us uh, Fury. F-R-F-U-R-I. F -R -F -U -R -I, I think. Uh, that oh no no uh, oh that's right it was Heart Machine my apologies the people who made a uh, Hyperlight Drifter oh so that's what oh, that's it goes welcome back yeah, hello so I mean yeah that game does look interesting it's just a shame I don't have a PlayStation to play it on yeah I do which means I could show that off because it comes out in October but then Metroid also does and just <laughs> speaking of which we really we still need wait, to get it a... where are we missing wait oh, oh, oh sorry, I see it, it, it I see it sign. Jeez, that blended in too much. <laughs> that took me a second. I was like, did the game? No, okay. Yeah, now let me look up upcoming games. <laughs> DK, just follow the sign. What sign? Uh, oh. Yeah, now I'm looking. Okay, I'm looking up what's coming out in October. Oh, oh, oh. Too many things are coming out in October. Let me see. There was Met there was yeah, there was Metroid uh, Mario Party Superstars. I think comes out at the tail end of no uh, October. I believe so. Yeah. Um, um, Warrior we're getting together is should be out soon, right? Oh yeah, it's coming out literally next month as of this recording. Nice. Oh okay. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is in October. That's also October. Yeah. And uh, speaking of which, uh, sort of topical timing as of this recording of all freaking characters they they're adding onto the lineup of uh, hidden characters. Fucking ah! <laughs> The dragon of Dojima himself yep. is going to be a playable roller. Kazuma Kiyu. Which, uh, which again, if you look into the history of, of Monkey Ball and Yakuza, not that surprising. But I, but it I, makes I, sense considering they're both made by the same guy. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Let's see what else we got here. We got and the, and and of all things, it, like Sonic and Tails collect collects rings. I forget what they gave B. Like they gave they gave the game they gave the spray cans from Jet Set that usually you, that you have to pick yeah. up to refill your graffiti skills. Yep. Uh, with uh with uh, Kiryu, they gave him nothing but milkshakes. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a thing from the game. They're they're your primary. It, it's you can heal with a lot of things. Like it, it, it's it's like a sim. You can like walk around, go to restaurants, and heal by eating at the restaurants. Ooh. But usually, what a lot of people will take with them. Are something called are something called stamina XX or stamina X ah, so, or whatever. So so basically protein shakes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and those are the uh, okay. whoa, there it goes. And those are the um, those are the items. Oh, watch that are... out! Uh, I see him. Did he? Yeah, I'm gonna go back there. I was just waiting to clear the path. Yep, gotta be deep. play it safe. But uh, 
Easy does it. Oh, bouncy tiki's now. There you go. Thanks! You're starting to get stuffy in there. But, yeah. but uh, that being said, uh, beyond him, uh, do you think they'll, they might also include uh, the recent protagonist? Uh, oh, oh, for seven? oh, yeah, uh, Nanba. I'm not sure. Yeah. I I'm not sure, especially especially because the even though it's Kiyu, it looks like they're using his design from Yakuza Zero, which was, oh boy, shake, which was probably one of his. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's okay. So I noticed there. So those are actually gonna be very tricky in co-op because they the, the trap sets off once you bounce on it once. Yeah. Yep. So uh, you guys have to coordinate. And or allow one person to go up ahead. Oh. Oh, puzzle piece. I see a sneaky Woo. duo. Okay, we're back in it. But uh yeah, I don't know. And and again, I really am curious if they're gonna include any other like... Oh, hold on. Nice. Yeah, did he got the right idea? I am still very curious if they're going to include oh, any other the right uh, idea. Sega representatives. Alright, let's see what else is coming out in October since we're just on this kick now, let's see. Oh. I'm still wondering when that uh, Panzer Dragoon Sway Sai sequel is coming out, or excuse me, remake is coming out, because I heard that's supposed to be coming out this year, but I'm starting to feel a little um, doubtful of that. I'll look it up. I'll so... I would not be against that, uh, although the, although we, we would still have skipped that second game, wouldn't we? Or or no, that is the second game because that's Zai, right? That is the second game. Yeah, Panzer Dragoon Two Zai, uh, which is literally two, which is literally called Panzer Dragoon, Dragoon Two Two. Right, and that's right, and that's right. I, I was thinking of Saga as the one that's going to be tricky. Panzer to Dragoon do. in a Two Two. I I'm definitely here to see if that one does get a remake, considering that would that's like the one that everybody wants to see remade, considering right. that was like the thing that Panzer Dragoon. It's like that one really weird gem in the series that, you know, turned out to be really fucking good. Right, so I'm looking here. It was back in December of, like, three years ago that the remake was made, and again, there was, oh. and again, yeah, there was that tweet from the company in February that said they were going to release it this year. That Yeah, I still remember that. But that's it. That, and then, that's not long after that, that's when they also learned that that same group of developers also said they were going to remake House of the Dead. Right, right. So maybe they're waiting until after that's done, and then, or maybe they have, maybe they have two teams. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, what else is coming out in October? Uh, we have Lego Marvel Super Heroes coming to October, coming to the Switch. Okay, it's hype on to play. That. Wait, wait, is that like a like a port up? Because I thought the game was already made. I believe it's a port up. Yeah, it's, oh, okay. it's not a new game, but it's a port for, from it to the Switch. Uh, Matt will be okay. I mean, they, they did put the sequel on there, so I guess they figured yeah. fill out fill out the gap for those that are missing out. Right. I remember the first game pretty being pretty good when I played it with my stepsister. Let's see. Matt's gonna be happy because we got Far Cry Six coming out still, which I mean, hopefully it'll be. I mean, Far Cry Five, Far Cry Five, I heard was pretty good, and he does it. We'll just see where that goes. They, they they sure know how to use their Hollywood flair. I am excited uh -huh. for Back for Blood. From what I've seen, it really does keep a lot of the main uh, mechanics that you like Left 4 Dead for while tr finding new ways to make it replayable. Whoa. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, there is... I forgot... I still... I keep forgetting that it's supposed to come out so soon. We have that Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy game coming out. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Oh, you got it. Okay, maybe not tricky. Oh, but I see a sneaky dude there. No diddy. No diddy. Diddy! Diddy, yes. I told you one thing to do. Alright, let me see. That oh, was safe, come on. Okay, and that's oh that's right, and then we are still getting the Tetris effect connected port onto the switch. Finally, you can play the majesty and the wondrous <laughs> visual stimulus. Of that game. Such splendor. It's good. You can have a Tetris game that has both the style and the substance. It really is that good. Dude. I understand that due to console limitations, you guys have not had a chance to play it yet. I highly recommend playing Tetris Effect. Especially with headphones on if you can. Duly noted. 